bought some stuff here at Goodwill. Got a bag and another chair to add to the yard. Want to see it? And these chairs actually sold for a good amount. I also got something else. Got an accident right over there. Prayers sent. Ended up buying this huge easel for 40 bucks. And I'll show you why when I get home when I set it up. What is up, everybody? Hope you are having an amazing day. Just got back home from being stood up on offer up and ended up going to Goodwill and glad I did because originally I had every intention not to go, but I think I'm addicted to the thrift. There's probably a group out there for that. This weekend has been an amazing weekend. Not because I continue to apply myself to find stuff for a great price, but because things are selling and things are coming along. I have something to show for every day that makes me proud of me and what I'm doing. I got stood up on offer up. <laughs> My heart, it hurts. Spent about 30 minutes in the parking lot, just down the road, which is a good thing for a potential purchase of two Cutco knife holder wood blocks. I keep seeing them being mentioned and every time I hear like bolos, I apply myself right there and then. I'll stop watching videos or whatever I'm doing to look for these bolos right there and then look everywhere. Facebook Marketplace, offer up, eBay, see if people are spelling stuff wrong too because people do that and you get to get it for the Lolo. There's many a times that I look at bolos, I find it, I'm just not finding it for the price that I would like to get it for. Oh, speaking of that, the offer up person, they did stand me up at 10 this morning it is now 3 34 and they just messaged so i'm gonna message them back and see if they'll be willing to deliver it to me anyways because they did give me their address where they're at but we decided to meet at a store that is that they are on their way here which is good because i'm gonna give them 25 doll hairs for two cut cold blocks for two cut cold blocks and um don't know what the third one is here's the photo of what i offer up so last night i was on tiktok and i was in between with youtube all the cool people are mentioning this cutco brand and i looked it up and i was like holy shit these things could sell for hundreds of dollars so immediately i looked on offer up saw this posted four minutes ago when i watched it last night and messaged them and ended up brrr, stood up this morning now they're messaging me back after being stood up i ended up going to goodwill and finding some good items one of them being the reason why I'm very low to the ground right here because it's super relaxing just to have my feet out on this amazing vintage beach pool chair, something like that. It is super comfortable to be this low and not have your knees like this, just, just to be like this. You wanna see it? Okay, let's see it. So came across two other Rio, that's the, that's the brand name, Rio something, uh, they're vintage chairs. This was up there and people have been passing it up. It was $5. I should have got it then anyways, but I got it half price today because the new color of the week is orange. And these, this is a heavier duty style. Like you can't tell, but I could tell compared to the other ones I have in the backyard. So here are two other ones that I got for $5 on the right and $4 on the left. And look at this. Look at this right here. Now that's beautiful so these are a lot lighter super light super super light but the thing to these light ones you definitely don't want to apply your weight on these because you may end up tumbling over had some family and friends over the past weekend and they were on these two and super comfortable just chilling out so when i saw this one i i wanted to buy it but i was like i already got two of them but when I saw it again today for half that price, $2.50, I am good to go. Now, if I try to sell all three of these as a set, it's definitely going to cost a little bit because that one is heavier. This one's probably like three pounds, three pounds. But this one here is probably like seven, six or seven pounds. This is a lot more sturdier, a lot more solid. They're super comfortable, but they could sell together because they do semi match they'll probably sell for like around 100 but i don't want to sell them they're really comfortable to sit on and the guests when they come over i'm finding that they enjoy sitting on these even though i don't have a pool i just have this green um yeah this is definitely real real grass i water it never you want to come in the garage 
<laughs> Look at all these damn shoes. I put on my slippers, even though I'm wearing socks. But the garage floor ends up being a little dusty. I'm working on getting all this stuff organized in my garage like I keep bringing up. And the reason why I bring it up is because everything we do as resellers and people in general who want to do good at stuff have to move things around here and there. And for this space that I'm standing in is my wife's space for her car. So I'm trying to get this together as fast as possible, but not be cluttered to where, okay, I've moved everything on the side, then I'm overwhelmed with all the mess and trying to figure out where things are. So I'm doing this, I think, at a pretty good pace. But now back to this easel right here. I bought this easel for this reason right here. I've been searching for an easel this large for about a year. And I got this pegboard, and this relates to it. I got two of these pegboards, which are very big. It's like four by six or four by seven feet. I got them on offer up for 20 bucks. Sold one right away for $45 and kept this one because I wanted to use it, but I was afraid to put it on the wall and ruin it. I am not that kind of man to be handy that way. Ever since then of getting this pegboard, I've been wondering if I could ever come across an easel this big but the ones I've been coming across are some of the size are worth hundreds of dollars. So I ended up paying $40 for this. And what I like about it is that I could manipulate the incline decline on it. And the bottom of where it usually holds the canvases or the medium board of whatever they're using to lay it on. I'm glad this is sturdy enough. Turn this pegboard also over if I have things like these coveralls that would easily fit on there. With this, it could go even further down to where I could lay stuff almost like a table. So I could get rid of these tables and tuck them away because we use them for get togethers and parties. And also I don't want to have all this clutter. I just have it here now because I'm still getting situated. There you go. Let me know what you think. And if you even have ever considered an easel for this purpose. So if you're wondering like, man, I could have something easier rather than using something on the wall, which you get all the ribbons and waves inside the material. This, because of the incline, lays a lot more nicer. So here's some more things that I got. I do have the people from OfferUp underway here, so I could buy those Cutco wood blocks. And I may just end up selling both, but I really want one for the house. So came across these uh, 502 denim ripped white shorts for half price, so about 350. And I think these are my size, size 38. But uh, plain Jane ones without the distress go for around $20. I'm going to price this up like around 35 OBO. And I have to check the weight on this for shipping. Because if it's light enough, I'll send it first class. If not, I'm going to have to send it priority mail. So another item here. Next garment is going to be this tank top. This has been on the rack for about a week now. Things like this usually go pretty fast here especially if it's only three bucks, but I paid half price. Again, orange is half price this week. And for this, I think I could get around $15. Not bad for a $1.50 item. This is from Grunt Style. I do fairly well on them, selling them on eBay for around $15 to $19. That's used without tags. And this one's in pretty decent condition. Uncle Sam here is, has that summer body and for 242 days he's kind of over it and now that we're into the fall q4 i'm pretty sure he's going to start bulking up and getting that uh weight on to start cutting up for next year this is pretty good condition got this for got this for three bucks remember those boots i showed you in the last video those just sold for 60 dollars and shipping on top of that this is from the same brand aria there's M3 and M4 jeans. What I saw in here when they were hanging wasn't none of this. But this tag stood out to me and I originally thought Cinch. Cinch is also another good name brand. And they usually sell anywhere around 30 bucks. So I usually do fairly good on them. And they usually sell within a week. If it's longer than that, they still sell for the same amount. So these Aria Fire Resistant Low Rise M4 right here. M4 Boot Cut has all the information I need to put on the listings. And I know firsthand because I've been selling jeans for some time, especially this brand and cinch that $10 invested is going to end up selling for around $50 to $60 just for these jeans used. But these are in really good condition with no wear at all. Even on the leg openings, which people will ask you at times, even if you say straight cut, boot cut, whatever, people often ask for the leg opening and that's just lay this part flat of the leg opening and get the measurement. 
So that's an M4. There were two other jeans, and these are both going to be M3 loose. Those are going to go for around the same price, and then these as well. Post them up, like I said, for $60 uh, OBO for $9 shipping. Also got two other items from there, and it's going to be this Disney Works toothless animated figure. Um, these are kind of all over the place. I originally didn't know how much it would go for until checking out the counts just just a few months ago. It was $1.99. And on the bottom, while waiting in line at the thrift store, I noticed this little wheel. And it reminded me of a camera. I have a DSLR Canon camera. And if you turn it, you would know that it has like different settings. So when I turned it, So the more you turn this, oh, you see the blue in there too? Oh, it's going crazy. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up button. So I'm, I'm hoping it sells for around 15 plus dollars for that figure right there. It does have some weight and so does this one. This was like $4.50, I think. Also at the thrift store, God of War, I am a sucker for Funko Pops, as you could see right up there in that middle bin full of Funkos and the boxes on the left and right of them also full of Funkos. And my office upstairs also has quite a bit of Funkos. So I had to get this one for the keepsake and in time I'll end up selling them all. Just a little recap, spent $84. The easel alone, if I wanted to, those sell for hundreds of dollars and I paid $40 for it. For the pants, shirts, and everything else, I think everything, once it sells, profit's going to end up being probably just like around 150 doll hairs. I'm fine with that because the easel is the big value for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Sunny Las Vegas Thrifts here on YouTube. Stay tuned for more in the near future for me.